Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, as always, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam, and welcome to beautiful Evansville, Indiana. You say Evansville? Yeah, this is an up-and-coming city in southern Indiana along the beautiful Ohio River here. Your question might be, are there things to see and do in Evansville? Well, you betcha. Sit back, relax, and we'll take you on a little tour of what there is to see in this wonderful Indiana town. Situated along the banks of the Ohio River in southern Indiana, Evansville is a city of just over 100,000 residents. Of course, it's a little bigger if you take in the outlying areas as well. But I want to talk about this thriving downtown area along the riverfront with a beautiful walking trail giving you views of the river and the city skyline. Now, a good place to start your day in downtown Evansville might be the Evansville Museum of Arts, History and Science. Be sure and not miss the historic Vandenberg County Courthouse dating back to the late 1800s. Now, what's really cool about the downtown is the fact they've had plenty of new commercial and residential developments, but they're mixed right in the middle of historic buildings. And despite the new mixed with the old, it's been done in a way that's very pleasing to the eye. In fact, one of the more unique spots is Brew Burger Bar, which is located inside the old Greyhound bus terminal. They did a beautiful job of preserving the past with modern, and now they're cranking out some tasty burgers with a unique combination of toppings to satisfy any appetite. Oh, and did I mention, oh yeah, they've got some nice little coffee shops here. In fact, I found one just down the street there, right in the heart of one of the historic districts. It's called Penny Lane Coffee House, and it's so warm and inviting, located in the historic preservation district near downtown. Now, speaking of that historic district, the homes are absolutely stunning, with a large majority of these dating back to the late 1800s and early 1900s, with many, of course, having been renovated to their original glory. Of course, we always like to talk about the weather, and Evansville has four distinct seasons, with average daytime highs in January around 42, April 68, July 88, and October 69. Whether you know Evansville as the Crescent Valley or the River City, either way you slice it, Evansville appears to be a nice place to come visit, or maybe you'll decide to call it your place for a lifetime. Who knows? All in all, though, seems to be a good place. In the meantime, keep subscribing to our channel. That, of course, is Traveling with Jack and Pam. I also invite you to check out my podcast, Love Letters to Pam, the Jack Church Show. Until we see you next time, have a great day. Better yet, make it a better tomorrow. And bye now from Evansville, Indiana.